Sibe Billy, we're coming back to give them the old school and new school. She's my lady. I would love to settle down with somebody. I don't see where even you got this love that you are writing about except lying to this girl. <laughs> Yo, what's up? My name is Benon and this is Vampos. And this is our task about conversation. Now clap your hands, everybody. Everybody just clap your hands. Why did I stop singing? I was expecting that question. I've never stopped singing. Singing is that it's it's serving uh it, it's something that you can never say you're done however i am doing it in another context uh, well i still sing in the shower <laughs> i still <laughs> sing every day at work because i i'm always in the studio um maybe the question should have been why did i stop putting out music as often I felt it was no longer fulfilling, um, and and I ended up getting comfortable being in the background and and creating stepping stones for um, for other young upcoming artists. Let me share something very deep um, for artists out there, and and this is my own opinion, but I believe that it's true. Every artist needs to find that other thing that fills their cup. We as artists, we are always pouring from our cup. And music, I believe, it's supposed to be the vessel that gets you to that other thing that fills your cup. It's supposed to create opportunities for you to do other things, like you can be a president, you can be uh, an ambassador, you can, through music. Um, and I truly believe that if you don't find that thing that balances you out, you will end up frustrated, disgruntled, and you know, um, because music, let, let me even switch this to Luganda, music obeda mubaka, kuba ofuno mubaka, no idea so you're all the time putting out and and we because we tend to fall in love with that high you know uh being on stage performing being praised being that thing you're always pouring from your cup but it's you know it's it's a twisted fantasy and you end up thinking that you know ah, i'm happy i'm happy but at the end of the day, a lot, a lot of people are lonely, a lot of people are sad because they don't end up finding their balance. So I, I am grateful and, and blessed to have found my balance and it fulfills me. Uh, so for me, my balance is actually, I feel like it's, I'm still serving, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm still in the same field. Ladies, this one's for you. Listen, this is a remix for my lady. Only if a time she drives me crazy. I wanna make her to be my baby. From then till now, she's gonna be my lady. This is a remix for my lady. Only if a time she drives me crazy. I wanna make her to be my baby. From then till now, she's gonna be my lady. Sarwa ntoku, uh. banonya kutule mia Na yezi mkwe sise, mkwano bambi tonjiwa Baye yubitala, banonye tinato satula Kalimbala mula, kuno bambi mumupowe She's my lady Mm. 
Stopping singing, <laughs> to me, he has actually has never stopped, and I don't know how <laughs> and where people get it and he stops singing. Because I know Yasiba Yimba, he's one of the people. Even if they don't play his song on the radio, <laughs> that's <laughs> my son says that's uncle. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. So I, I don't see like he stopped, but to me, when he stopped, it didn't really put me off. Because before we had some little beef, me doing a lot of songs, <laughs> Vampino songs, dance all songs that I had then, and we had been on Vampus. But we took all him, but me and him, we, do, we have a song. I do some extra songs. And he knows I kept doing all this music. And when he doesn't come for the main shows, that maybe they are been on Vampus, we have to be somewhere, we're getting paid for that. Somewhere I'll go and perform as Vampino for free to promote this other music, which also kind of lured him into getting on the free show sometimes, because we made a deal with the dancehall promoter, yo, Raga Wagwa, now you're going to come and give us some Raga. But this is a calling on Ben and Vampos, and they're mistaking the Vampino part with the same thing. When I take him, sometimes I used to make the mix, when I take him up, now he may be Volvia Raga, which was meant to be directed to me. <laughs> uh, whereby the promoter, we had a, a young uh, blood understanding, like a oh, yeah? we are not so sure about the figures. And Ben wants to know a figure. I have to explain to him first. It will be just Raga. Not I explained from the venue. <laughs> <laughs> and he was really pissed sometimes. You know, we've, we've never planned to, or to be a duo. Let's be better than Bumpus. Doesn't you know? ever go. He wanted to do his raga, I wanted to do my R&B. But well, uh, the first song we ever recorded in studio, it's because we had to, to collect money, eh, you know. We were actually singing together different uh, in, things. In, during school, school yeah. you know, freestyling. You had more singles than, than me, actually. <laughs> it was still the, uh, but very the, hardcore raga. Actually, the deal thing came up because Twitter and separately, 
everything we used to do was freestyle. If there's time for us to perform, I give the signal and tell you the beat is coming, you know. <laughs> Benon does his things. He actually doesn't ever know what verse I'm going to do. I remember the big show we had in Rwanda. <laughs> and we have to sing about war. And the song was not about the day before the show. And we, we just got a beat like I, I produced the beat before the, the day of the show. And it's like, <laughs> we like Yo, I hope we yeah, shall see what happens. Yeah. Did you know even people are like, wow. <laughs> it was never recorded, though. It has, it's not recorded. It was on stage. We just freestyled the whole thing. Because we're used to that. Until one time when we worked in so much, we left school, we got jobs, right? Yeah. I was working in a restaurant. He was in a cyber cafe internet. But we had a dream to record a song. We don't know It how. was a big deal back in the days, having your own song. And that's why the first song is called Dreaming. We just had a dream to reach the studio. Keep on. We did it. If I take it day by day, take it day by day, and I know the job will help me overcome whatever comes my way, whatever comes my way, and I know the time will win no matter what they say, no matter what they say. I know, I know, yeah, I know. Oh, oh. Ah, listen. My life, I've lived in a struggle. Every morning that I wake up, I know I have to hustle. But why has it always got to be this way? Why do we have a price to pay now? Someday everything is gonna be fine. Something tells me someday. Me overcome whatever comes my way. Whatever comes my way. And I know the time will win, no matter what they say. And now I'm gonna stand tall, never fall No matter what I do, I'll always be strong Because someday everything is gonna be fine Something tells me Can't 
them not really want to deal with the matter yet Be healing up to all you tough shatters Don't let your life ever get shut down yet Don't get any get to with the most youths apart Cause them not really want to deal with the matter yet Healing up to all you tough Yes, I do you know? Yes, I <laughs> oh yes, I you still know I know Thank you, thank you. People think or oh, expect vampires to be under swans. But it's not. Um, I mean, anybody who knows this crazy man knows that he does what he does from the heart, what he wants, when he wants. Uh, he's not uh, a crowd follower. <laughs> if, yeah, if people want A and there's B, he will go for B. <laughs> <laughs> I am so observing you by blood. You understand? When I say that, whatever you do, whatever you'll be working with, I'll be out there, I'll be like, I know where that all comes from and I'm part of it by blood and I'll be proud anyway, it works out anything. But I'm not like in Swangs Avenue on paper. <laughs> it's just different. It's a different thing, right? It's yeah. being on paper. What's worry about what Sassura and the they need to have the company name. <laughs> and it's not even there. But we know we are Swangs Avenue. The country knows we are Swangs Avenue. By the time the uh, you guys started, I think you all started to try out and see how it's going to go. Mm. But with the, with the time, you've been growing up to know what is supposed to happen. We're gonna get this sucker. Uh -uh. I'm not a guinea pig. I'm like man. As a teacher, you know, we have tried so much, but so many things used to come up. No more. If you get this, you remember so many people came in to sign us then, because even when we had all the good life dropping. And uh, every artist that came by then, when we had the Swans Avenue, it was all from the head. It was all trying to figure out if it really have, it can work. Gabinon is making the beat. I'm recording, we are out. We didn't know what happens. We didn't know all these logics that happened. Recently, he talked about something. I'm like, what does that guy do <laughs> in Swans? Uh oh, your are That's the guy that pitches. Pitching what? <laughs> I didn't get it even till now, but. We needed this in the industry. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah. I'm proud that it's happening. And through one of my friends. Yeah. Wait, wait. Benzi, I know you've been hurt before So you don't wanna try love anymore Come on, give me one more try And I will never make you cry Cause there's a feeling inside me that I can't deny No, not a man ikuwa na wewe Na wewe uwe na mimi Kila kitu napanya cho Napanya kwa chili yako Baba, oh, you're my mama. Now he only your Buddha, yet. 
Na hayidi furaha tele Maisha ni wetu Na tamani kuwa na wewe Na wewe uwe na mimi Kila kitu na vanyo jo Na vanya kwa jili yako Na kutamani Niweke moyo mi baby I get to crown you and make you be the pin in my yard. I wish I could adore you and get to marry you and make you be the mother me kid. Come me heart is burning, 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 burning for your loving girl. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me your loving girl. I'm burning, you're burning, you're burning. Then I want you, girl. Good girl, you never pick up the phone. Now me begging, me begging you to take it for a little bit of love. Oh, just to win your love. That's what I got, it's the guy that do it for love. I'm just so proud that he's organized himself in a different level than me, that he can understand some things. Because, I mean, with production and all that, we learned that together. But he had more passion for that. I'm not about to sit back on chairs and wait for the music to find me in the studio. My thing is the hype out there, the crowd. When I hear the noise, I hear people happy that this is happening. That's my passion. But from start, from the word go, Benon kept talking of how he's going to try to make sure we have the music. And I was in the promotional part, by the way. Zen Pitamumu Street, he brings the song, he's like, what will we know? What do we start? I'm like, we, we're going to go. So me, I'm proud that he got himself in line. And uh, he took a further step to learn the little part of production that he had then. And I contributed so much on your production part of it. <laughs> you remember? Well, I was going to go to the studio and I was going to go to the room and I was going to go to And I'm like, man, Steve, we need a job for Bernard. From there, we have albums everywhere, songs are dropping, I know. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm proud of him for what he's done. Whatever he does, I'm part of it, behind the back. And I know he'll do the same for me if I'm out there. Let's just say I'm in a, I'm in a happy place and also very cognizant of the fact that I'm blessed to be in that happy place. It's, it's not something I take for granted um, to be doing something that I'm passionate about um and, and that's that in the creative space you know film i now direct commercials and i love it i love it it keeps me up late in the night if i have a shoot you know i'm always thinking of the final product how uh, where the camera angles and stuff like that i'm very very passionate about that uh, it's it it fulfills me and and completes my puzzle i'm grateful yeah. 
Tukala tuvele babi rinze na we Tukola makango wera nange All the time kusiva nange My girl wera nange Tukala tuvele babi rinze na we Tukola makango wera nange All the time kusiva nange girl My girl wera nange Aba sacha manji bakwe gomba nyabo Bakwe gomba nyabo Bala la bakwa kala mukopi, uluma la bakuleke, zena kwa kala danya bo, na yengeli yonku gamba bambi e chambuze o, dolo zanti ndi muyaye, ne danya bo, se change galanti mani, jagalatu be fembi, yeah. Remember back in the days we used to ask ourselves, eh, hey, wana, ani ya disoko kuzara, eh, ani ya na soko kubasiri ya simu, eh. So, I'm happy, you know this, this man here, <laughs> is a family man, very responsible, uh, a dad, and also he, he stayed true to what he loves, you know, 
dance hall raja <laughs> up there uh, uh, a dance hall thing that i am a muganda man we are not supposed to count our children <laughs> But yeah, I am. I'm, I'm working on it. Trust me. Uh, my family is very impatient. You need but, tricks. Eh? I got your name. <laughs> no, I'm not saying for example. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, on a serious note, yeah, I I don't have kids yet, but I would love to have kids. Um, I would love to settle down with somebody. I mean, unfortunately, that part of my life is not happening. And it's not something, um, you know, I'm going to beat myself over because it's not happening. But I know it will happen. Boss, you have kids. You have a, you're a good father. Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> I'm, I'm a good father to two of his sons. I'm also a good father to a lot of my my you know, my, <laughs> my friends' kids. kids. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a father in a way. Of course, I love I love women. Maybe they don't love me. All of them. Um, that's a story for another day, but yeah, we are working on it. Anybody see my baby? Over there, sir. Anybody see my baby? That's all. <laughs> hey. Hey. Mono muwala, zegwe njagala, doza yanchawa. Chira bika chankweka.
We're gonna be in the now. Room this guy <laughs> in the studio, we are always arguing. You tell him, ah, man, I know that you are to I got to explain some people. You know the culture I follow, your dance hall, and some people don't even really get it. I did not break it down, but I'm happy Ben when he started learning. Actually, I never into me as Singapore. He began emceeing as a Caribbean artist more than I was doing it, because I had to put the DVDs in his face. To what I got name. Do you know what? Why don't you give melodies of Vampos and Ben? <laughs> yeah, because all the songs are now mellow. The old Weak. mellow and the yeah. love songs. Imagine, I didn't even take it in my head. My neighbors are trying, but I said, love is okay. No wonder we used to sing at weddings. <laughs> ben, oh, I don't see the love where even you got this love that you are writing about except lying to this crowd. Ah. Wait a second. You didn't ask that question. I really love your mama. Ben, you got your mama, no? The so we end up singing so many weddings from Nsazewo. So, so but I don't even know where he gets his love. So are, you, are you saying as Vampus? You Wait, so but as as Fabio, talk to you, 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 to them. I mean, today you find generations that are having weddings. If Vampino, I'm having a wedding, I'm going to put up what I need. So we have this generation, the Tukuzenayo, it will ask for these special songs. But we didn't so I say, oh, I don't even count the weddings. You all got to clap your hands if you know this one. After him. Hey. <laughs> okay. Listen. Clap your hands, everybody. Everybody just clap your hands. Come on. Clap your hands, everybody. Like this. Everybody. Now clap your hands. 
hands, everybody. Everybody, just clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Everybody, just clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Everybody, just hey, oh, with this, break it up. Too old for this. Oh man. But that was fun, yo.